Hi guys, I'm gonna feel play uh, every summer time by Nikki. I just play the three parts which I'm gonna show you in this video, which are the verse, the pre-chorus, and the chorus. Three different parts to learn. We have a small key change out there in the chorus, which is not hard. Keep one fret one. You don't have to worry about the chord shapes. They are easy with the keep one first fret. So let's have a quick look at it, and then I'm just gonna break down the whole song. So it's called the F major. I'm playing one, three, three, two, one, one. You can even play from the D string till the high E string if you find that a little bit hard. Uh, then we have a G major, which is three, two, open, 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 three. Then we have an A7, which is mute, open, second, open, second, open. Uh, we have a D major, mute, mute, open, second, third, second. D minor, mute, mute, open, second, third, first. B flat, mute on the E, one on the A string, and you can use your pinky or your ring finger to bow the third fret of the D G B. High E string muted. Uh, what else do we have? Yeah, we have pretty much got all the chord shapes. Now I'm gonna show you the verse firstly. So this is a basic chord progression. We play a D major chord, which goes for two bar, and then we have C for one bar and G for another bar. So we got D, D, C, D, three, four, D, D. Pretty simple, but I just kind of make it a little bit more advanced. So I'm having a plectrum in my hand, if you can see. Uh, it's matching with my shirt color, which is red. So I'm playing on the D major chord, I'm playing D, G, B. I just play D, G, B. And then with the middle finger and the ring finger, I play the B and the high E string thrice. And I kind of mute that after letting that, I uh, don't let that ring. So, see that? So, you're gonna repeat that twice on D major chord. So, we have. I'm gonna repeat that once on the C major chord. Uh, it's a little bit different on the C major chord. What we do is we hit the A string third fret, which is there on the C major chord. G string open. B string first fret. And you hit the B string and the high E string twice with the same fingers. Make sure you mute that and do the exact same thing on the G major chord. But instead of hitting the A string, we're now gonna hit the top E string third fret. So we have. You can even hit the D string if you want. I'm really going random. This is not there in the song, but uh, we just gonna try to mimic that uh, music going on. Uh, so we can just do anything you want, but make sure you just follow the chord progression. But stay in the count, stay in the rhythm. That's it. So we got. Repeat that a couple of times as a verse and it goes in the exact same way for the second verse too. Now we have the pre-chorus, we go to a G major chord, one strong, D major chord, one strong, uh, goes a little bit different, A7, two, three, four, F major, two, three, four, G, three, four, D, C, A7, that's how the pre-chorus goes. Eight chords, I mean two lines of chord, so we have eight chords to play. All right, now we're gonna look at the chorus. Uh, there's a key change over here. So we play a D minor chord, and then a C major chord, then an F major chord, then a B flat chord. I like to keep the strength band super easy, which is down, down, up, up, down. I'm gonna repeat that once on each chord, and you're gonna see that it sounds very well with the chorus. So we have D minor, up, up, down, C major, down, down, up, up, down, F major, down, down, up, up, down, B flat, down, down, up, up, down, D minor. I 
one thing I just want to clarify right now we have the verse one we got the pre-chorus two we got the chorus after that we have another verse another pre-chorus which goes in the exact same way and then we have this chorus which is going on and then after the chorus we have some extended part of the chorus which you can say a bridge which is following the same chord progression of the chorus but instead you can just do one dance stroke again keep, keep it a little bit soft if you want and then it just goes to the outro which is the end of the song and that's it for this video guys i hope it helps you out let me know what other songs you want to learn and uh, make sure you subscribe and bye